Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Saturday and I am going to do this get ready with me look for you today with some new products that I got from Nordstrom. I just got my package yesterday afternoon. So I like to do the videos like with first impressions without using them already. I'm using this new bronzer, the ambient it's the Nude Bronze Light. Oh, it is so pretty. And I think I go over in the video all the different things that I got, but you are going to love it. And I'm just really happy with how it turned out. Thank you to Nordstrom for sponsoring this video. I did choose and pay for everything. And I'm so happy with everything that I got. So if you like this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so let's get started. And I'm not sure, I wanna go ahead and show you this stuff before I do I do my intro after. So I wanna show you what I just got from Nordstrom. Oh, and I have one more thing coming. I bought another bottle of the YSL All Hours BD35 because that foundation is so unique. And the other day when I was squirting it, it like acted like it was about to run out and I never want to run out of that. I'm just so scared they're gonna quit making it. So I ordered that, and when you place an order over, I think it was over 125, you got this huge bag of goodies. Let me look it up real quick. It gets over, I'll put it down below. If you order over 125, I think it is, you get this great big bag of samples and goodie bags, and that is gonna come with my YSL All Hours. Okay, so let's see. The first thing I want to do is, I've been using this again, and I forgot how much I love it, especially it's very cold here today, and this just gives me that primer and that skincare moisturizing type feeling. I love it. So I'm going to do just like a pump and a half of this Sicily Double Tensor, and focus it. My makeup always wears off right here, but that is probably because I blow my nose so much now. I don't know if it's allergies or what it is, but all of us have had the worst sinuses. And see, you can see already it's gotten like a little bit sticky feeling. It is just, it's a good primer. Okay, then the next thing, you know what? I didn't show you all the things I got from Nordstrom. Okay, I got the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer, but the color I got is Nude Bronze Light. And the other one I had is, I can't remember, it's got sparkles in it. This one is more of a matte, and it looks like maybe a little bit darker. That day I did a makeup look for you guys and I think it was I shopped my stash and I pulled out my old ambient light bronzer it was just so shimmery and I saw this one and it just it looks glowy but not shimmery so we're going to try this I ordered some of these because I love these and I used them last night they are the baggage claim eye mask and they're the gold ones I'll put a picture up here I sent to Brooke and I love these. They come, how many packs is there? Six pairs. And I put them on last night and they just, I don't know, I think I like them because they stay on. And then when all of your eye serum has absorbed, they're kind of dry. And then you take them off and I just like them. I feel like it does something to my under eyes. I ordered this NARS palette, which is like a Nordstrom exclusive. And it's got, I love these pretty tops that they are starting to put on here now. And this one just looked so good. I had to have John, yeah, here it is. I had to have John open this last night. But look at those shades. They are just those shades that even if you don't even want to put on a bronzer, you could put this, maybe we'll do this first and see how it sees, see how it looks before I use the bronzer. But, and then a highlight and just that shade right there just had me intrigued. But just some good summery, bronzy, but rosy. I don't know, they're just, it's like they're in between rosy and peachy. So, I'm gonna use those. I loved the Bet Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow so much. A lot of you guys told me you like the Marie Antoinette, which is more of a taupey shade. So I ordered that. I'm gonna be trying it all with you. I did not get these until actually we got back from dinner. They were on the front porch. And then I got the Charlotte Tilbury 
Pillow Talk 2 Medium Lip Liner. And I did swatch that and it looks good. So I think we're gonna have a good look here today. I'm just gonna kind of go with it. I have no plan. I just figured we'd use what I've got and go from there. And then I thought I would use just a little bit of this Charlotte Tilbury Number no. 1 Fair Corrector. It is so cold here. We're not used to it being this cold. How cold is it now? Sunny and 36. So like even all of my stuff is cold. It's weird. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this and just get that darkness right here. You can see how much that helps. I think it might be just as good as the Armani. I'm not freaked out anymore that they might quit making that. Okay, so that, I just wanted to put a little bit of that on because I use it sometimes and I forget to tell you how much I like it. I forget to even tell you I'm wearing it. Okay, what do I want to do here? I'm trying to think. Do I want to do, this is the question every day. Do I want to do foundation, then concealer? Or do I want to do concealer, then foundation? I think I'm going to do foundation, then concealer. And just go with a normal, what everybody normally does. So I'm going to use one of my favorites. I wore this yesterday and it was so good. It's the BD41 from Chanel. And... I'm going to just put one, I usually use two pumps, but let's start with one pump and go from there. Kind of build. You can see the color is good. I did put, um, I'm so pale and I don't really want to I'm eventually gonna have to tan because even my feet are just ghostly. But I just put on like body makeup today, tanner makeup, but eventually I'm gonna have to tan. I just hate it. I just wanted to see what one pump of this would do. So my body is a little bit more tan. Well, probably a lot more tan than usual. Gosh, that one pump did really pretty well. A lot of it too, see I'm not having to go down my neck because I took that body makeup up my neck. So I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it at one pump and let's see by the time I put on everything else how it looks. Okay, then I brought out, oh my, I've got so many good concealers, you guys. Lately, I've gotten the Dior is really good, the Dior, Dior Forever, the Givenchy, the Hourglass, the NARS is my go-to. Um, let's use the Givenchy because I like it, and it reminds me of the Dior. So, one thing I have learned lately from mistake is to not take this up like to those creases, um, just to kind of blend it. I see Bubba's staring at me. So I'm gonna put a little bit right here. I always have darkness around my mouth. Okay, so let's try that. See how it's not a goopy, goopy, concealer. It just kind of goes right where you put it. So now I'm going to blend it in. I used the Bobbi Brown. I had a bunch of my lip conditioners that had kind of shifted to the back of my drawer, so I was bringing them all out and I saw the Bobbi Brown one. And I went to use it and it being so cold, I could barely, I did get some out, but I could barely use it. It was so, I'm just, we're just not used to this. Okay, and I'm gonna get, bring this white down my nose. I know most people are making their nose look skinnier. I'm always trying to make mine look not as skinny. Not really any different, just I don't wanna make it skinnier than it is. And so now I'm gonna take this and 
kind of instead of like bopping it everywhere, kind of hold it and kind of make sure you put it right where you want it. And I'm not going to take it up too far. Used to, I would take it like all the way up to my lash line. And then you end up, like I end up putting soft ochre paint pot right there and some eyeshadow usually. So why have three things there? You know, they're just going to cake up even more. But see, I think that concealer is pretty. I want this to be not a natural, natural look, but not a 10 layers thick look today. Okay, but you can see my skin's still showing through, just a little bit of the imperfections, and that's okay. Especially by the time we put powder and everything. Okay, I brought out the Laura Mercier Loose Powder. And I will say, if you put this on, your makeup will be bulletproof. Just, if I don't, like if I do like a more natural and I just do dustings of powder and I don't put powder on with the Beauty Blender, especially the Laura Mercier, even at night when you go to take it off, it just washes right off. But if you set your makeup with this, you have to like remove it. It's, it's a different thing. So I'm gonna maybe just put a little bit on under my eyes. Okay, I'm gonna get some and then I'm gonna kind of knock it off and like rub it in on my hand. I just saw a brook pull up, so. And I'm going to not take it up too far. Like that in here, and and then pretty much all the places I just hit with the concealer are kind of like my highlighty places. Okay, and that's it. And then I pretty quickly take a brush, a fluffy brush, and fluff it off. And I kind of use that to set the rest of my makeup. This is what we're left with after that. I'm gonna go ahead and clean out my brows because I didn't use so much foundation. There's not much in there. And then, hey, let's go ahead just for fun. Let's go ahead and do the lips. Where is that? Okay, this is the new darker Pillow Talk lip liner. and it's gonna be perfect. I've kind of messed up by using that chapstick because this isn't going on like it would if my lips were drier. And I've already decided I'm gonna use, I am so in love with that MAC lipstick. I'm just using it with everything. So I'm gonna show you how you can use something like this and then still use that peachy lipstick. See, I love this so much more than the original Pillow Talk. The original Pillow Talk to me is a little bit too light and bright for my lips. So now I'm gonna grab that, where did I put it? Here it is. The MAC lipstick. There we go. Remember, at first it's going to look a little separate, like the lip liner and the lipstick will look a little separate, but then it will mesh together. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to think of all the stuff I want to use here. I think the first thing I'm going to do is go over my face just a little bit. I like to start my contour blush type thing with something that is not too harsh. I'm going to just use this medium dark mineralized skin finish from MAC. And kind of go around the perimeter and start that process. If then I think I'm going to go ahead and let's use some of these shades and see how much we even need a bronzer. So 
I'm trying to think which one would be, I think this one right here would be my best one to kind of do that contoury blush. Oh, this is going to be so pretty with this lip. Isn't that pretty? It just gives so much of a, I feel like it's kind of old Hollywood looking when you do that. When it's not quite as bronzy. Oh, I'm loving that. And then it makes your under eyes so much brighter. Okay, gosh, I hate that. Okay, now I'm going to use this one because it's got some shimmer in it. I don't know if I'm even going to use this. I'm scared. Let's use just the littlest bit. It is pretty. It's a good glow. Okay. And then now let's go into this shimmery blush. And do that. And then I see people take it across there nose maybe a little bit on the forehead just to kind of bring things together how does that look that is so pretty isn't it gosh i hate to even um i hate to even mess things up with this maybe we'll just i just want to show you though okay we'll just use a little bit right at the bottom oh that is pretty okay I like that. It's not sparkly like the other one. Hey, Bubba. You know, I always have an audience. Okay, and I will, I'm going to go into this like dark stripe here and do my jawline. I like that. What do you think? I think I'm going to leave it. I don't think I want it any bronzier. But love this, love it. It's definitely not as sparkly as the other one that I have. Those are beautiful. Did we use all of them? I think I'm gonna use just a little bit of this one right there. A little bit higher up. Love it. Paint pot, soft ochre to prep my eyes. And you'll see, even just after I do this, okay, goodness, I don't know when that cut off. Anyway, I was prepping my eyes with this soft, soft ochre, and I was saying that you don't have to do this if, when you're using the cream shadows, but I just like it, because it gives me that solid color base, and, but if you're in a hurry, these stay on forever. It's not like I need it as a base. I'm using it for the base and color. Let's go ahead and do my brows. Yesterday, I used the, Chanel's sharpening her claws. Yesterday, I used this, the Anastasia in the medium brown, and it just wasn't the same. I love this ash brown. Tap it in that lightest side, and you guys have seen me do this every time, so I'm going to do it real quick, and then I'll be right back. Just gonna go through them. Okay, and just run the clear brow gel through there. I feel like it kind of just finishes them off. Okay, now the exciting part. Now I know when I used the bet, the first day I used it, I hope I still have pictures. The first day I used it, I used it with my finger and it was a lot more, it was harder to use and it was just a lot more pigment and just a, you know, a brighter, more of a look. Then the next day or the next couple of times I used it, I've been using it with a brush. And sometimes I even take my finger after the brush and then add it in where I want to. So I'm gonna start off with a brush with it and then we'll just see how it goes. I haven't even um, swatched this. I'm just gonna get some on my brush like that and start at your, here, let me zoom you in. And then start at your lash line where you want most of the color. Oh, that is so pretty. Okay, don't be afraid of this one. It's not as pigmented as I 
grab a bunch on my brush. Okay, I'm just going to work it on my hand first. Wow, that is beautiful. That is going to be, this is going to be one of those shades that gives you that no makeup makeup look, but better. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start bringing it out. I know that I like my eyeshadow kind of winged out and up. And then take it in like that oh my goodness that is beautiful that is the perfect eyeshadow for the no makeup makeup look okay now we'll use what's left under my eyes and connect them up like that gorgeous Okay, I'm getting some on my brush. You can see. I'm just dabbing it right in there. It's very emollient, like very soft, moussey. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Start at your lash line. And I kind of like to go up and then over. And then you can build up. And it's one that you can kind of take all over your lash, I mean all over your lid. And it's not so pigmented. It just looks, oh, it's beautiful. I'm going to take a little bit more and then make sure I have enough on my crease. It looks like it's very, very buildable too. It's not like rolling up or anything. That is so pretty. Hey, I love it. I was wondering if this was gonna be enough, if I was gonna have to bring another shadow out here. Let me lift my camera, hold on. Cause it looks like I love everything I got. That is awesome. No regrets. Okay, now let's do a liner. Of course, I'm gonna do a wing liner, but I think I brought two things out here. I brought my Chanel liner out here, and then I also brought somewhere in here, I brought my Stila, the little Stila liner. I think I'm gonna do this on my, sh on my lash line and maybe finish off with this, because this just makes a good, good wing. There's just something about the marker part of this is long and it's, it's long and it's strong. <laughs> And it um, makes a good wing at the end. So, but I don't want it to be too, because I want this to kind of be a worn in look, I'm going to use this. Come on your brush and then do just a line across. I'm not going to bring it down. Oh my. <laughs> okay, what am I going to do? Okay, I had to wipe it off. Now I'm going to go back with my foundation sponge. And then I'll powder it again in a minute. These things happen to me all the time. Okay. So just carry it to the end like that. So you can see that that is, it's not like I smudged out that line, but because this cream shadow is so, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of dry actually. It's just, it's definitely not a gel, it's a cream. And so it doesn't give you a really precise line that you have to worry about. What do I do with the top? I don't know. It doesn't give you a line that you feel like you have to diffuse or anything, but it does stay. And then with this Stila liner, I'm gonna kind of put this right next to my lashes just to make sure I didn't leave any spaces. Between my liner and my lashes. And then that just kind of makes your lash line a little darker too. And then what I like to do, especially with this, is just find your 
where are you going to want your wing and just set it down and make that mark like that and then connect like that. I think I'm going to do bring it down we'll do just a little wing like that today. I know I'm going to wear lashes, so I'm not worried about, you see me worrying. This one just is more pointed. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that because I know that the mascara and the lashes are going to hide a lot of that. I've been loving the... Uh, Dior Pump and Volume black on the top and brown on the bottom. So that's what I'm going to do. The lashes I'm going to use. I'm still using my original Star Lashes number six. So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on these, let them be drying, and do my lower lashes with the brown mascara. Okay, I'm just going to put a little bit of that brown mascara because I don't want it too much. I just wanted to put a little bit. That shadow is gorgeous. You have to have it. I think this may be easier to use than the Bet, but the Bet gives a little bit more color. It just is a little bit um, bronzier. This is just it's beautiful. I feel like those need to dry just a little bit more, so I'm going to go back over with my lip liner a little bit. In my mirror, I felt like I had lost one side. Love it. Perfect. I'm so glad she came out with that. Okay, you guys. So now I'm going to look and see what I think I need. Looks like I've got some mascara right here that I just smudged. Oh, and I want to kind of touch up my nose where I had to wipe that off. So let's do a little bit of, um, this is Studio Fix NC35. I'm going to touch up. This is good for anything if you need more coverage or if you want to mat out a few places. Okay, and I did my hair on the side and it is it's hard because it always wants to fling in my face, but I know that's part of it. And anything else? Do I want to put any gloss on? I think I'm going to leave it like it is. But, so what do you guys think? I kind of wish I would have used a lighter lash because this definitely took it to a new level. If you would have used just a lighter, I'm sure this brand probably has good, I need to try one maybe in this brand, but a lighter one because I love how nice these last and how well these fit but love everything. Love this, love this, definitely. This is beautiful, beautiful. So thank you guys for watching. I just have on like a little cami and my Zella leggings and I think I'm gonna put on like a faux fur and my boots today because I want to go ahead and wear the faux furs as much as I can and the boots. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time, bye-bye.